So guys, welcome everybody. This is Rupa, and I'm founder and CEO of Blackstone Business Setup Services. And today our session is especially on Oman as a destination for entrepreneurs, and what, why, and how you can set up your company in Oman. So just to give you a little, uh, you know, background about Blackstone Business Setup Services. So we are a business setup company located our, our main branch in Dubai, and we have our branch office in Oman, Muscat. We are in the industry for the last seven years, and we are helping people set up their companies across the globe, especially the Gulf. So UAE, Oman, and Saudi are uh, among the three Gulf countries, as well as Bahrain, where we are helping people set up their uh, businesses. So. Uh, 2016 we started Dubai Incorporations and I remember 2019 how we started getting a lot of inquiries about Oman setup. You know that time uh, even Dubai market was doing well however a lot of inquiries were coming for the uh, Oman market and that is when we decided okay let's try let's explore and see how Oman works because Oman was just four hours drive from Dubai but still you know, hardly anybody explored that city. And I remember that time me and my husband driving down to Oman and planning that, okay, let's see. Uh, trust me, when I first visited Oman, my first experience was, wow, what a beautiful country. Like, uh, is it really a Gulf country? Because it's so green. It has mountains. It has waterfall. It has lakes. It's a beautiful country and very peaceful country. Back then, 2019, uh, definitely uh, getting the government uh, works done, getting the information and everything was a little challenging over there, I, I accept. However, still we started and we started our branch office in 2019 and we started the uh, opening companies uh, in Oman. Uh, however, that time it was only trading sector and logistics sector who was forming companies in Oman because of the port value and because it is very close to like, you know, it's connected to Indian Ocean, uh, you know, the Persian Gulf and, uh, you know, Iran, Pakistan, so the, the maritime uh, touches those borders. So geographically or port wise, the location was amazing. So a lot of logistics companies and trading companies were forming companies over there. However, in 2020, when the demise of the old Sultan happened because uh, Oman is a monarch and when the new Sultan took over, Something magical happened. A lot of uh, rules and laws changed. They started giving 100% ownership to expats. And a lot of, uh, you know, uh, game-changing decisions were taken. And that is where the whole equation changed. And after that, the kind of inquiries, the kind of uh, interest people started showing in Oman and uh, things absolutely. So today... The Oman that is and 2000, before 2019, I think both are uh, a lot of difference you will find. So they started uh, achieving a different kind of goal and they started making Oman a destination for entrepreneurs. So at the moment, trust me, it is a country which is diversely and very speedily growing. So for any entrepreneur to touch Oman at the moment is a golden opportunity because you know when when the country is growing and you approach that at that time uh, you know that's that's the time when you get to uh, make the real deal or make the real business or you become a pioneer over there so after that we started seeing a great inflow in inquiries for all kind of businesses all kind of businesses means everything related to education institutes events uh, restaurants cafes hotels construction it it increased and since then, it's going till eternity. So today, here we are to help you guys also to give you a vision and maybe give you a new uh, goal in your vision board of expanding your services or your product uh, in Oman. So today we have Mr. Risham Malhotra with us, uh, who is heading our Oman branch for the last four years. He's uh, he's a young and dynamic uh, individual, and he is heading the uh, you know uh, operations there. And uh, he is a client's favorite, uh, great networker, great master connect, and an amazing, uh, you know, marketing person. So, uh, Mr. Rishabh is having, like, he's also a BNI member and he's also a me member in a lot of esteemed organizations. So, uh, welcome, Rishabh. Welcome and uh, thank you for coming and helping our, uh, you know, audience today to give them a little bit more details about Oman. How are you feeling today? I am doing great and first of all, thank you so much for such a wonderful introduction. 
and today we'll be talking about uh, oman we'll share our experiences how we set up companies in oman how we help all the, the people new people coming to the country who don't know the rules and regulations who don't know about uh, how they need to connect with the government departments so we are the launch pad for them and today we'll talk about that how we can help them to get 100% ownership how are the rules and regulation working in oman how are the visas things get done in oman super super thank you thank you so much uh, uh, rishab so for our audience uh, today our agenda will be first why oman then uh, what the company in cooperation cost is uh, then how do we uh, you know what are the how do you open a bank account how do you get a residency over there and also uh, you know uh, what are the vat and tax structures over there and what are the statutory requirements every year that a company has to do over there so as you see in this slide why oman so i have already given you a little brief in introduction before but this is just to address some bullet points that now you have 100% ownership so even in a mainland company in local llc companies an expat can own 100% shares of the company political and economical stability uh, is uh, definitely there there's no personal income tax oman is a member of world trade organization and permit for 88% of business activities residency to foreign investors recruitment permits for expat workforce best geographical location in which to reach the gulf asian and african markets so these are some of the advantages that oman has and as you know that oman is also like you know uh, it is a member of united nations as it and it is uh, one of the oldest continuously independent state in the arab and uh, it was also addressed as among the top 22 you know most peaceful countries in the world it it was in among top 22 and in 64 uh, it was also uh, considered as one of the fastest growing companies uh, in the last 40 years so these are few things um, that oman has bagged and, uh, and today, as you itself oman is now on 18th in the rank for one of the beautiful country in the world great super so now in population as you see that uh, the current population of oman is uh, almost 5 million uh, as of wednesday march 15 2023 so this is uh, based on world meter elaboration of last united nations data and uh, if you move to the next slide these are some of the sea ports of oman khasab sohar dukum maskat kalhat and sala salala so these are as i have already told you that uh, geographically or port wise the location of oman ports and uh, the way oman is loco- located so for traders it is an amazing destination even in the past you know uk uh, i think had collaboration with oman for the for almost 300 years and that was specially you know uh, for the uk recognized oman's geographical importance as a trading hub that secured their trading lanes in the persian gulf and indian ocean and protected their empire in the indian subcontinent so that was the history how uh, you know uh, uk also used oman for its uh, trade stability now uh, i will invite mr rishab to give a little detail on that when you are planning to set up a company you already know that 100% ownership is uh, is possible now you know what is the consumer uh, population over there and the port facilities uh, about it now what kind of structures are mostly famous over there so mr rishab over to you if you can give a little detail on that sure hello everyone so today now we'll speak we'll talk about incorporation structures in oman so as most of all people who want to set up company in oman they are looking forward to have an llc establishment here usually llc a very big name that people everybody everyone recommend that we want to go for llc but we'll just put some enlightenment on spc and sole establishment as well like llc you can see in the slide as well expat can own 100% share of the company with minimum of two partners or more and the liability will be recovered from the company not by the individual shareholder same as in spc it is sole proprietor company it is owned by a single owner and in this okay. company as well you are very safe and only the any liability of the company will be recovered from company assets or company whatever assets we have in company or whatever 
amount we have in bank all those things will be recovered from there not from individual when you come to sole establishment and you talk about a sole established company or individual merchant company then owner is single sole but here any liability on the company will be recovered from company assets or it can be recovered from the shareholders assets as well let's move to another uh, next slide now we'll talk about the process how it works in oman incorporation we start with the documentation part we prepare all the documents for the clients whatever documents need to be prepared it has to be done in arabic language they don't accept documents in english language so wherever you go to any ministry or any ministerial departments if you go with english type documents they will not accept it and which will be difficult for all the clients so we as the consultant share in oman we help to prepare all the documents in arabic because we need moa to be typed in arabic your uh, business plan to be typed in arabic your project descriptions about all the activities we need to mention where we mention all the details like what is the shareholding what is the who are the owners how much percentage they are occupy uh, taking in the company and uh, how much share capital they are investing in the company after that all the documents when signed by the investor they give us the scan copies and they don't even need to travel to oman if somebody is outside the country and they want to form company in oman they are not recommended or they are not if they don't want to travel it's okay completely okay with it we can get all the things done virtually you just need to provide us all the documents signed which we will provide you after that once the document application is done then commercial registration your company license which is valid for 3 years for foreign expats will be out we can extract that within 2 to 3 working days not more than that and one crucial thing in this we need to get the trade names because in oman getting a trade name is one of the most difficult tasks but we guide our clients we guide the people who want to incorporate company that trade name should be taken which have arabic meaning which can be easily translated into arabic language from english it cannot be a short form or xyz company llc it has to be a proper name or proper word with arabic meaning an arabic translation so we help in that case as well once the cr is ready the very next day we can extract oman chamber of commerce membership certificate from the chamber of commerce department in oman after this and the step is to register for corporate tax the corporate tax is 15% for any company which is incorporated by any individual and that is 15% on your net profit once tax is registered then another step is to get tenancy agreement registered on your company name because to get after we get tenancy agreement we need to apply for municipality license the activities which we are mentioning in our cr that need to be activated by baladia the municipality of particular governorate and that activities has to be mentioned in our rent agreement and using that tenancy we will activate those activity after this process is finished now you are good to go to start your complete operations to get your company's bank account to get your uh, visas for the owner shareholders and your employees so rishab and i will talk to you here so yeah. that you know we can also give little bit insights to our uh, audience so now uh, because we will come to the visa and bank account so now now whatever you have explained i want to summarize and yeah. put it across to our audience so like you said so for a person to come in dubai uh, in oman and get the license you are saying it will take 2 uh, to 4 working days right correct okay so uh, for this 2 to for getting this license do the person has to be there in oman or if it can be ha- it can happen virtually it can happen virtually it can happen virtually so yeah. for example even if i am in dubai or i am in india but uh, i can send you the documents the required documents you will review yeah you are in any part of the world we will provide you the documents 
you just need to take a print out sign and scan back the documents and send it to us okay. rest we will take care of it okay. completely so for everybody for the audience you can just know that you know you can form the company in oman virtually i know there are many countries where your physical presence is re- is required however in oman to op- start get your license your presence is not required you can send the your personal documents like passport copy and the trade name options and what activity you are going to take after sending these three things uh, the oman company will make the application and everything and send to you and you will sign the papers send it back to the oman office and uh, then we file your papers and we get your uh, commercial registration in 3 to 4 working days right right rashab right Correct. Okay, superb, superb. So now here, first doubt is clear that we don't have to be there, and our we can get the license in four days. Now the yeah. second thing is that is it like you know, like you said, so I can have sole establishment, like I can be the owner alone, and I can have multiple partners, or I can be a branch company. So I can open any three kind of structures, right? You cannot be a branch company. In okay. Oman, if you want to open a branch company, then you should have a government tender. Then only you can become a brancher of any other entity outside the country. Okay. But if you want to have a same structure like a branch company have, you can call it a subsidiary company, like the company who is in Dubai, India, or any other part of the world. Hmm. That company can hold hundred percent shares in Oman and become a subsidiary company. Okay. Okay. Got it. So we cannot name it branch. However. the no. 100% shareholding for a corporate is possible correct so if i am individual you only need passport copy and if i am a branch then you will need the license memorandum and board resolution attested by the yes. home country and oman embassy home right country. correct the home country and oman embassy once this attestation is done then we need to attest all those documents in ministry of foreign affairs oman okay. and once that is done all the documents need to be translated into arabic that's great that's great because we need so, to provide the arabic translation as well okay so rishab for company formation of the branch or the sole establishment is the is there any difference in in the timelines or is it same i will come to the cost later so first i will yeah difference is one because the timelines will increase when you are willing to do a subsidiary company then you need to attest all the documents and everything when all the paperwork is done when we will file for the application mm-hmm. after that timeline is that same 2 to 3 working days and okay. there is one more benefit of getting a subsidiary company because when you don't get english name whatever name you want mm-hmm. if any company is holding shares like dubai company or india company or any other company is holding shares and they have xyz name mm-hmm. we can get the same name even if it is a short form or whatever kind of name it is that's wonderful so the take away is that if i'm forming a company as an individual then the trade name that i choose we, i have to be very careful about it uh, because only something that has a concrete arabic meaning only that name can i can get uh, but if it is a branch company then if whatever name i have in the home country or the parent company i can get the same name in oman easily right yes and one more thing i would like to add in this yeah if you are opening a company without any corporate entity holding the shares mm. still you want to have a particular name but that name as per oman rules is not available there is it, it cannot be translated or it can it don't have any kind of arabic meaning then once the company is registered you can register the particular name whatever you want as a logo as a trademark okay yeah yeah that can also be done that's wonderful so so audience for your idea that if in case you're not getting a particular name uh, directly in your commercial registration then maybe you can open a company with a separate name and the original name that you want you can trademark it first in that country if the trade if it is not trademarked by anybody else then you will get the trademark and once right. you get trademark trademark then you can start using that name for for your company that you have formed in oman okay so that yes, that will also solution. take around Two months to three months time to get the final documents of trademark done. But once you apply for the application, you will get initial approval within ten to fifteen working days maximum, and then you can start using the name. Okay, that's that's wonderful. Okay, so we can use the name so if we have trademarked it. Okay, so the can you tell us the average cost for trademarking the name in Oman? Yeah, average cost for trademarking is five hundred Omani rials. 500 omani rials which is into 10 5000 dirhams correct 
Great. So now, uh, Rishabh, we got a little clarity on the commercial registration and the different questions related to it. Uh, then the OCCI membership certificate. This uh, it's a mandatory process, right? Yes, this is a part of commercial part of registration. Nothing. Yes. There is no different separate requirement or document requirement for this, right? No, no, no. But the only okay. difference is this Oman Chamber of Commerce membership certificate. You need to renew every year. Commercial registration will be renewed after every three years, but this has to be renewed every year. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, and this corporate tax registration, like the when the company is formed, immediately this registration has to be done, or is there any yes. threshold that only if you cross this limit, then you have to register? No, corporate tax has to be initiated at the same time, initially only. Okay. That threshold is for VAT after thirty-eight thousand five hundred Amani Rial. You have uh, crossed your uh, turnover, then you are you, you fall in the category. Back. You are mandatory. You have to register for it. Okay, that's that's wonderful. Then we see tenancy agreement. So here, uh, Rishab, we like you know our audience definitely would like to know that what kind of uh, facilities they can or infrastructure they can get for your for their company. So I have like three questions. Like for example, number one. Yeah. What if they don't need an office and it's a, they want a virtual setup? Number two, what if they uh, need a proper office? What is the average rent in Oman? Number three, sure. what what is the average rent of the retails? And number four of the warehouses. So if you can just give a little idea sure. of how is the rental, how the rental looks like over there. So usually, if you want to have a tenancy in Oman, first of all, yeah, we can help you completely to get. Virtual offices here. That sometimes people initially don't want to start their business majorly. They just need to initiate a small tender or small work here in Oman. So initially they don't want, they don't want to put up huge cost. Mm. So we can help them to get a virtual office initially, okay. which will cost around six hundred Omani rials for one year of tenancy agreement. And using that, they can get their, their municipality license done. They can open their bank accounts. They can they can get the partner visa. They won't be able to get employee visas easily, but yeah, still we can help them to get some employee visas also. But that is not hundred percent sure. Yeah, for employees you have to show space. Got it. Yes, because inspection will happen, and okay. they will come to see the space. Yeah. And for that we need to show them a proper shop, warehouse, office, Whatever or an office in any kind of uh, business perspective. center. Correct. Okay. So what yeah. is the and average rental the, over there? Average rental will we can talk about that is uh, almost around a single desk space will cost them minimum of one fifty to two hundred Omani rials per month. Oh, per month, and an office. Yeah. Let's if you go for office, a small office with minimum sitting of four to five people, kind yeah. of sixty uh, to hundred square meter office. If we talk about, they will easily get into at a normal location within two fifty Omani rials to three hundred rials. But if it is a premium location, it will again cost you around four hundred to five hundred rials. It depends upon the location. Okay, uh, and for uh, warehouses? For warehouse, uh, we talk about it is around three Omani rial per square meter. Okay. If you go for an, a good where all the way like in any kind of industrial area you talk about, then it is like hundred square meter will you will get it into three hundred Omani rials, three hundred to three fifty Omani rials easily. Okay. Okay. It's so, approximation of cost, not okay, exact. For cost. our guests, I would like to repeat: one Omani rial is ten dirhams, so you can calculate uh, in that way. So now, after getting the tenancy agreement, we get the municipality license, and now uh, I am ready to get a visa. So now, for the partner okay. visa to get a residency in Oman. So for the company formation, the client do not need to travel to Oman. However, for yes. the visa, the client will have to travel, right? See, for visa, initial things can be done if he's out, he or she is outside country. Like we can issue them e visa. First of all, to get a partner visa, we need to apply for investment license, which is a part of this visa process where we get we need to take personal bank account detail of the client of India or Dubai or wherever they are. We need the personal bank account details because we need to register that in the ministry portal, Ministry of Manpower portal. Okay. Once that license is issued. We will apply for the visas. Okay. Now, when client needs to travel, there are two options. If client want e visa and he directly want to travel on his partner visa, then 
client need to provide us medical from gamka okay. gulf medical authorities in their country they will find okay. in all the countries they need to check it on google and they can find the location and they have to go there and get the medical done and need to send us the scan copy we will attest that copy with the ministry of health here and then we can easily issue them e visa and using that e visa they will directly enter country on their partner visa and stamping will be done on the airport itself so once the e visa is done they can enter the country after they have entered the country how many days they will have to stay to get the other formalities done and what are those other formalities yeah other formalities are again they need to do medical in the country as they need to have a x ray report and everything so they need to do medical which will take another 24 hours time so okay. total time we need is 3 days to get their oman id done within 3 days they travel they will get their oman id in their hand okay so within Usually in dubai days, it takes a lot of time to get oman ids their emirates id but in oman you will get oman id at the same time from rop when you will go there for biometrics okay that's wonderful so let's say when as an investor you issued my e visa i travel to oman on that e visa and yeah. then i get my medicals done biometrics done and i get in i will have to maximum stay for 3 days right correct okay that's wonderful now the moment i got my id my visa is done in the same trip can i get my bank account done yes absolutely you can get your bank account done we will keep all the like we have a proper team for that to finish up all the bank accounts client doesn't need to travel to bank again and again to take follow ups and all we will prepare all the documents only once when client enters here with the oman id he need to go to bank with us our team will completely support them they just need to sign in front of the bank official once we will prepare each and every document forms request letters and everything they will sign and after that they can leave the country Oh, okay. we will take all the follow ups from the bank once bank account is ready they will get email on their email accounts they will get message on their phone the phone number registered okay. and we will share them all the details of the bank account on their whatsapp on their emails so they don't need to wait for the bank account things to happen and then go out of the country we will okay. take all the follow ups so including the visa and bank account i think a 7 day trip will be fine right yes if Or they want days. to have bank account everything done within they are in oman then 5 to 6 days if they are okay to just sign and go back and later they will start working on banks we will give them all the details within 3 to 4 days maximum okay oh, that's wonderful so we will come to the bank account once again in the bank account chapter let's start uh, working on little bit in employee visa so as you know uh, rishab we know that in oman there is omanization So, if you are having right. employees, you need to have a certain percentage of. Uh, you have to recruit the locals, Omani locals. So, I would yeah. just like to know first of all how easy it is to get uh, employee visa for expats. Like, if I want to bring employees from my home country, that's number one. And how easy it is to get the right skills and talent among the locals. because people have always perception that okay locals so oh, how will the locals work or they might not work so i just want to understand if you can just uh, say like what is the situation in in oman see getting employment visas in oman is easy especially for males when you talk about female visas it is little difficult but when we are setting it then we will manage everything for them for the clients okay but to get visas the cost depend upon their designations if it's just a normal visa a third grade visa then cost is which is mentioned in the slide 350 omani rials which will include everything okay. their medical their oman id rp fees whatever it is there yeah everything is included in this once okay. you increase the designation if the, de the designation is like uh, manager or some uh, a white collar job you call it yeah then the visa cost will increase to 450 to 500 rials also it depends upon the designation and to get visas it is smooth but when it comes to a female visa we should have a proper degree we should have proper degree attested from their home country okay and sometimes when you talk about amanization to get female visa you need to hire omani lady or men on the same designation in almost all the activities for female in certain activities like uh, waitress or salons or uh, food supervisors 
these restaurant activities you don't need to hire specially omanis for getting a lady visa but yeah usually to work in an office you need to get a proper uh, omanization done and omanization percentage is 30% okay if you have three, if i'm getting four employees one has to be an omani correct but oh. this also applies to certain activities not all activities like some people are having activities of repair and maintenance okay. in that case you don't need to hire any omani okay. if you are having activity of restaurants then this this is not 30% then you can have 6 7 8 visas or 10 visas then you need to maybe hire one omani but in such cert, uh, certain activities like logistics okay. here also you don't need to have omanis because loading and loading work omanis are not doing all these kind of jobs okay so you okay. can have foreign expats employees there is no problem so But for example in white collar jobs we are recruiting omani employees like for example for accountants or sales or admin what is the average salary for these kind of designations uh, you know. average salary for omani is minimum salary starting from 350 omani rials but admin visas in any kind of company only omanis nobody else can get admin visas okay marketing specialist visa like uh, front desk officer or uh, receptionist or all these kind of jobs only for omanis nobody else can do okay got it got it that's good yeah so now let's come to the dependent visa so how easy or difficult it is to bring a family member in oman for example for an employee or for an investor if we are calling our families yeah if we want to call our family it is very easy and very nominal in the charge as you can see in the slide also mm -hmm. you just need to give the proof of your relation like if you want to call your mother you need to show the birth certificate attested from your home country okay if it is a postal country then only a postal attestation will work if it is not a postal country like india is a postal country but uae is not hmm. so then uae you need to attest the documents from ministry of foreign affairs in uae oman embassy in uae then again ministry of foreign affairs oman but if it's india then only a postal attestation will work if it's uk a postal will work botswana a postal will work like that and these attestations are also very easy to get done and we can help in that as well okay and if you want to sponsor your kid your child that is also same way you need to provide birth certificate you want to sponsor your wife marriage certificate and if you want to sponsor your mother for example and your father is no more and your mother is now alone you need to provide death certificate of your father attested from the home country and vice versa in the case of father and mother both okay Okay, that's that's great. So now we got to know for partner visa what we have to do, for employee visa what we have to do, and for dependent visa what we have to do. Uh, thank you, thank you so much for for the details on that. Uh, now let's come. So now recently, Rishab, uh, we heard a lot of buzz about golden visas. So uh, how how can a person get a golden visa, five years or a ten years golden visa in Oman? Yeah, see, previously here visa was kind of investor visa. for all the shareholders now they have changed the scenario now for the shareholder visas they call it admin partner visa if you want a visa just for 2 years if you want to get visa on the behalf of investment which is known as investor visa hmm. it is of two types 5 year golden visa and 10 year golden visa if you want to have 5 year visa minimum age criteria is 21 and minimum investment you need to show is 250000 omani rials okay it can be in form of bonds it can be in form of your bank account you can deposit the funds it can be in form of your uh, projects property. your contracts going on in oman it can be a property okay and same way for 10 year age is same only difference is investment which is 1 million omani rials okay okay got it so this is 5 years and 10 years golden visa which is on the basis of investment so people who are getting the golden visa can i just buy a property and get a golden visa or opening a company is mandatory for me no you can just buy a property and get a golden visa there okay. is no problem so it's like visa on investment yes so now we got to know that there are four kind of how we can get a residency in oman either we can form a company and get a investor or an admin visa or we can recruit employees and they can come on employee visa or we can invite family and they can come on dependent visa or we can just invest in the country and we can come on investors visa right correct 
Okay, amazing. So I think, uh, guys, we get a, a clarity on company formation and visas, formalities, timelines, and cost. I hope everybody is clear about that. Let's move to the next topic, which is bank accounts in Oman. So we can see that we have banks like Bank of Muscat, Bank Dofer, National Bank of Oman, Ali's Islamic Bank, Oman Arab Bank, Bank Nizwa, Ahli Bank, Bank Sohar, Birut Oman Bank, HSBC Oman. So there are a lot of banks uh, uh, in Oman. And uh, so just a little detail, Risha, what kind of documents you need for opening a bank account in Oman and what kind of minimum balance do they need to maintain and what are the facilities that the banks are giving over there? See, initially, you can open bank account in any bank except HSBC because okay. HSBC has some different norms. Okay. You need to have minimum six-month-old bank account in any other bank and the statement should be strong. Then you need to submit all the documents. I will list that as well. Okay. But I'll just explain about HSBC once. Sure. Then they will give you some questionnaires to be filled online. They will send you on mail. You need to fill that and it will take a lot of time, minimum two to three months to get corporate bank account in HSBC. Got it. And if you would just want to go for a normal bank, normal corporate bank account in any other bank of Oman, then you just need to give commercial registration, Oman Chamber of Commerce certificate, tax certificate, rent agreement, your municipality license, mm -hmm. and uh, just that, nothing else. We need to fill some forms which are provided by banks that we will take care. There are certain application like request letter to form account in your personal, uh, like to form account in the bank and uh, some authorization letters are there. Declaration is there for the bank. Iranians can also open bank. Individual, any other nationalities can also open bank. There is no problem, but you need to maintain minimum balance of 500 Omani Rials. And as everybody knows, I believe, transactions with certain countries like real estate countries like Iran, Syria, Libya, all these countries are not allowed in Oman also. Okay. If any transaction happens, they will block the account. Best, you can easily transfer funds. You can easily get online banking access. You can easily get your debit cards and bank provide all kinds of facilities like loans, LCs, everything. Depending upon the structure of company, how many employees you have in company, mm -hmm. how many organization like if you are fulfilling the organization part of company or not, mm -hmm. you need to register with the banks to get loans. Okay. And uh, these are the formalities and we can help all our clients in that as well. Okay. Okay. That's, that's superb. So now coming to the topic of tax and VAT. So as you have already mentioned that there is 5% VAT in Oman. So for any local yes. villains, we have to charge 5% and we pay 5% to FTA. And Correct. income tax, it is 15%. So for any local company that we form over there, we pay 15% uh, tax on uh, uh, net profit. And you're saying yes. that there is no income tax in Oman, right? Personal income no tax. No personal income tax. Only corporate tax is there. That too, for expats, it is 15%. Any local company in Oman. But if the company is on the name of any Gulf national, uh -huh. like Omanis, Emiratis, yes, or yes, Bahrainis, yes. any Gulf country or US citizen. Okay. Then tax is 3%. That too, up to a criteria of this, the turnover should not cross more than 100,000 Omani Rials in one year. Mm -hmm. Or the share capital should not be more than 50,000 Omani Rials. If they cross any of the criteria, then they are also under 15%. Okay. Okay. That's, that's wonderful. Okay. So still it is much lower than many other countries and it is like, you know, it comes in under low tax jurisdictions. Uh, so these are some of our clients for whom we have done different kind of companies. So uh, Rishabh, at the moment, what kind of companies you have uh, formed in Oman? And uh, if you will see the kind of queries, what kind of queries they come? See, uh, there are a lot of logistic companies we are forming in Oman, many IT companies, construction material trading and construction companies because now Oman is more and more looking forward to improve their infrastructure, get new buildings done. They have a lot of space in Oman. As you know, as you know it's a massive big place, big country. So they have a lot of place. So now they want to turn the country into different shape. So many constructions are happening here. So construction companies and we have also formed a different kind of uh, companies like payment service provider company. You must have heard about Google Pay, PayPal, yeah. same way we have formed their companies and we are the one, we are the first one to form a payment service provider company in Oman. 
Okay. Two companies are being formed by us here, and uh, we are forming dental clinics here, training institutes, restaurants, IT software trainings know. to be done. A lot of fish trading and aqua related activities also I have seen. Correct. It comes yeah, because trading. Oman is very famous for fish trading, and, and for the... seafood trading, we need to get a blue card from the Ministry of Fisheries. Okay. and we help the clients to get that card as well because without that they cannot do trade of fishes or any kind of sea products okay how much that blue card costs is it expensive and this 100 riyal okay it's 100 but you need to provide all the documents to ministry like your cr bank account details everything all the documents of a company okay okay uh, so uh, also i i heard like you know uh, what about setting up a like if, if we are setting up a local restaurant Uh, local laundry or the local retail businesses have also increased. Like before, there were not too much expat companies going to Oman, but now a lot of expat companies are coming and opening different kind of uh, activities like cafes and all. Since you are forming those kind right. of companies, what is the profitability that you see? Because you are in touch with those clients year on year. So, do you see a right. growth in their business post 2020? Yeah, we have seen a growth in. all kind of business is coming to oman now it's not about i will not talk about only about the restaurants or cafes because oman is now a growing country there is very less competition you call it yeah you have a lot of chance to form companies now get yourself very well established in the country because mm-hmm. it's a niche market right now yeah so it's and i have heard from our clients they are growing day by day they are increasing their staffs because we get the queries for their more employment visas the like logistic company some we have opened they are getting more and more visas and yeah here uh, in oman now ikea has also come hmm. and that is also a big thing which just recently started in oman a few months ago a lot of big and, brands were coming and opening in the mall yeah. whether you say clothing sector Or, or you say retail sector. So I think it there is, is a specialized big market for clothing textile sector in Oman, which is Matra and Darset, Old Muscat area. That is specialized for textile market. Okay. And that is also growing a lot. And also uh, seeing the you know uh, natural uh, resources available in Oman, I think a lot of agriculture and uh, horticulture based businesses have also grown in Oman. And yes. there is, I have heard that there are uh, you know lot of such activities as well growing from there. Yeah, in Oman actually, you know, they have natural greenery. Mm. They don't do the. artificial agriculture they have proper farms in oman in different areas like barka uh, uh, rusail in salala they have proper waterfalls so the climatic conditions are very too much of too much in the favor of agriculture here okay and they produce their own crops here the they have their own dairy farms they have their own farms for eggs everything is produced inside oman now It, they are not getting things from outside the country they are producing it inside oman fruits vegetables everything is they are growing everything here now super that's 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 beautiful and as well as like you know uh, i think in education wise also oman comes in the top 126 countries in the in education uh, level so i think a lot of institutes and schools because most of the locals over there are quite highly literate and uh, they do masters yes. phd's and higher secondaries so i think there is a demand of the education sector as well i think that is all right, right. uh, will be growing in, in, in with time so so as you know um, uh, guys uh, to our audience that lot of different kind of businesses are growing in oman including it website infrastructures so uh, the, it is the right time to explore uh, different opportunities in oman and uh, set up your branch so today if we summarize today's uh, meeting so at cost of let's say you know uh, 30 to 40000 dirham you can set up a company in oman with your including your visa opening your bank account and the commercial registration is valid for 3 years that you renew after 3 years only the municipality license and there are some things which you renew every year so it's cost wise also very economical the country is growing <laughs> there is less competition the process is very free uh, very easy and hassle free Uh, so i think the ease of doing business is definitely over there so i think oman has to be your next calling destination for your business obviously before that there are few things that you need to do you must be doing little market survey if you are planning to visit the country 
get a visa visa done and come to the country and see how it works over here even for dubai residents it's absolutely free of cost that they can they don't need a visa to travel to oman and i think recently uh, oman did a lot of visa a uh, lot of uh, flexibility in visas for different countries to travel to oman so it's very easy to travel to the country very easy to uh, open a business over there and run a business over there and there's less competition so less effort in getting profits and the best part is the location wise also it's connected it's very close by like from india it's like 2 3 hours journey for dubai it's just 4 hours drive it is also connected to saudi or any other countries that you are coming so location wise also it's amazing oman airport is also very advanced so i think uh, it has all the qualities to invite foreign investments and foreign countries so today uh, it was our intention to bring this country destination in your uh, vision list so that you can plan and see your company in oman we are looking forward for your message if you will see our uh, the chat our team has shared some fact sheets you can uh, please take one minute time and uh, you know please download the fact sheets so even you know after this webinar you can just have a look and you can read the fact sheets uh, our team is very eager to answer your queries and give you a customized approach and reply on each of your query so uh, our team will share a email id and a number in the chat please uh, you know write to us anything that you are planning uh, whatever business line you are planning so that we can you know get in touch with you and we can give you detail that to set up that kind of business what kind of infrastructure or cost is required so we are very thankful for all of you to join us today in this webinar we keep doing webinars and bringing new countries in your list uh, maybe next we will do for mauritius and singapore uh, but uh, thank you so much for joining us and motivating us for doing this what we are doing and uh, we are looking forward to see your queries our agents will get in touch with you after the webinar as well so we are looking forward to get in touch with you and just for your reminder that black swan is there to give you a 360 degree support we are a corporate service provider we will help you set up the companies we get you residencies we help you get your bank accounts get your infrastructure offices trademarks so anything that is related we also have a co working space we help people with business center and serviced offices so we try to give a 360 degree platform to entrepreneurs so a one stop shop for your business launch requirements so we are uh, looking forward to launch your business in the gulf uh, anybody who is interested in uae uh, please join our next seminar uh, and uh, here me and rishav will be signing off thank you so much all of you to join in.